All right, Shalom, real quick, giving all the praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai Bahashim Rakahakwadash, and double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that taught us this truth through the Holy Spirit. And as always, I would like to give a special peace and blessings and salutations to the Lord's hopeful elect. All right, I'm the brother Zion. And this is going to be just a real quick commentary. Um, you know, I kind of had to speak on this. Um, this was sent to me uh, by the elder brother Manat Dazak, GMS South Carolina. And, uh, you know, basically you have, you know, Little Duval, which, you know, if you uh, if you went to, uh, you know, comedy, you kind of know who Little Duval is. Um, he actually just had a real scary judgment happen to him, you know, I believe he fell off of a four wheeler like last year sometimes. And he got jacked up real, real bad, you know. And, uh, you know, I guess he's all healed up now. But uh, he made this these comments about the uh, the C hip, you know, and this is from his Instagram. He says, uh, I know I'm getting the C hip in my brain, but I'm going to wait till the first batch of people die first. All right. So he's basically he telling you. You know, rather he's joking or not, you know, the most high is going to put the spirit on a lot of these celebrities to, you know, fold because they're faithless any damn way. You know, a lot of you celebrities are going to go right along with Esau, Edom's NWO. And um, I seen the title from the Elder Brothers video. Basically, you, you know, you speak in your own demise, man. We know what the scriptures say in Revelation 14 and 9, the judgment of those who decide to take the sea hip okay we know we know what the precepts say all right you're gonna be you're gonna you're gonna get your ass messed up all right <clears throat> taking this damn uh sea hip man he says if they can convince half the country to get the juice in less than a year they can convince you into wanting a sea hip inside of you but he's right about that too you know and this one, he says, right now, y'all saying F the C-hit, but eventually you going to get it just like everything else you swore you'd never do. Now, he's talking to the people in the world because concerning the elect of Yahweh Shmi Al Shai, they're not going to bow the knee to Baal, man. They're not going to accept that. And this also proves that what these celebrities are watching the videos. And not only are they watching the videos, they're watching our videos because who's the main camp? That's speaking on this prophecy. Okay. The, Isra the, the people are watching the Israelites, brothers. We're being watched. Okay. These videos are being watched. All right. And that's why Esau, sometimes he tampers with the views. But nonetheless, the videos are being watched, man. And, you know, if you notice, he's trying to make this basically to be like a joke. But it's not a joking matter. Okay. It's, it's going it's gonna to be funny when the Most High destroy your ass. You're not going to be laughing then, though. Okay? This is a very important prophecy. And as you can see, Jake is, is taking it lightly. He's trying to clown about the situation. But as we've been speaking about, when the Lord brings the sword, famine, death, and destruction, and you can't eat, then we're going to see how funny it is. Okay? <laughs> then we're going to see if the joke, who the joke's going to be on. You know, and he's so let's read this one again right now. Y'all are saying F that C hip, but eventually you're going to get it just like everything else you swore you would never do. We're not going to take that shit, man. We're not going to do that. Now, you may do it, but we're not going to do it. OK, if it be the Lord's will, man, we're not going to bow down to this damn devil. OK, now you little Duval, you're into the world. You're worldly. OK. And like I said, the most high just damn near killed your ass, man. But that's Jake for you, though. That's Jake. Everything is a joke to Jake, man. All right. And you and you was right on this, though. They can convince the half the country, more than half the country to get in that juice. Yeah, that, w that was the test. The juice was like the test to see, you know, who's going to. uh 
who's going to, you know, bow? You know? And I don't know if little Duval got the juice. He probably did because he also, um, he flies his own planes. You know, he's a, he's like a, he's a pilot. He knows how to fly planes. So most, more, more than likely he probably did get that juice, man. <clears throat> you know? But um, I didn't watch the Elder Brothers video. I'm going to check it out. But we know the precepts, okay? <clears throat> Revelation 13 and 16, all right? And the judgment for that is what? Revelation 14 and 9. So, hey, you you basically just said you're getting it. Read the caption. I know I'm getting the C-hip in my brain, but I'm going to wait till the first batch of people die first. So you, you basically just prophesy what? Your demise, man. And what you other Israelite groups got to say about this? That's what I want to know. Here it is. You got a dude that's in the world, Lil Duval, a comedian. <clears throat> he knows about this. But you other Israelite groups got a problem with, with, with teaching this. All right. This is, a, this is a prophecy. This is the prophecy in Revelation 13 to 16, man. This is what it's talking about. And we at the end times and you can see that these little things like this, okay, See, a nigga will believe Lil Duval, but let the prophets tell you, oh, no, oh, man, I don't know. <laughs> you know? Anyway, I just wanted to just to comment on that, man. You know, nothing, nothing major, but hey, it's here. It's here. End time prophecy, man. Shalom.